south table. My dog is going. My dog is going to the phone. And that just fell over. Not good. Yeah, look. Oh, chuck. Figured I'd get another one, but. Holy cow, look at that. I don't know if you hear that dog, he's howling. He seems lonely. <clears throat> Maybe his master is gone. Alright. Let's go working on that plug. Beautiful day today, look at that. Yeah, that's the chimney, cover, whatever. We gotta fix that. Junk. Anyways. So. This is what we're going to do today. The problem is... is oh, I've got something in this. I can't this the lens without the monitor. problem is down here. You get that air coming home from work. I pull on it and I look inside. And you can see there... Oh, you can't really see, eh? Yeah, great. Anyways. Top right. You can see this. You can see it in the sun. There's... Caution. So. That's what the <coughs> pipe cleaners are for. You see? And I got brake cleaner and I'm going to clean it. So, that's what we're gonna do. Okay? I should probably get my... Uh... Oh, first what I want to do is I want to make sure before I start shoving metallic pipe cleaner in there. I don't wanna... Poor CW. He's having a hard time... Uh... Starting his snowblower, I want to start. Oh man! Junk. I got a slow leak in there again. I forgot what I used. I don't have any tubes in that tire. <clears throat> that happened to me the other night there when I got home from work. Got a lot of snow and I figured, ah, we'll pass the snowblower. What was it? Uh, Thursday. Wednesday into Thursday. Anyways, wake up Thursday morning. There was a huge snowbank behind my car, and uh, I was like, oh, I don't know if I'll make it. It was big. Got in the car, went back and forth, went to a flat in the snow to get traction, because I don't want to. I didn't want to be uh, biting into a, into powder snow, and at the same time trying to get my car. So, came out no problem. Up we go. Put some air in the tire. Yeah. I get flat tires and CW. That should be good. It's gonna run flat again. I think what I did is I used um Oh I hear it. I hear hissing. Yep, you guys hear it? I hear hissing. Not the good. Oh man, I have a nail in there. Where's the hissing coming from? Damn it. Anyways, I used the uh, bearing grease as a sealer to seal. Oh man, the wave wants us back. It's like, where's my cleaner? Where's my cleaner? I'm on my cleaner. Biodegradable people. That's oil for my last oil change. Here's the W, you want some? Come and get it. I'll meet you at the border. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. There it is, found it! Ah, oh, crap. Get a little, little tiny hole. Ah, oh, yeah, alright. Well, I got a tire fixer. Look what I went. This is last weekend. We're Saturday today. <laughs> that went last Saturday. Got one of these. Princess Auto in Ottawa. Got one of these. Multi-purpose scent live center. Got it for the lathe. 
Got it for the lake. We don't have a light center. I only have a dead center. <laughs> Duh. We have a um, stationary center. There's a bearing in here and it turns. Where well, your, your part doesn't heat up. Compression. I don't want to use tools. Got some more junk in and China shit. Two holders don't have enough. Little shock. That was this again. I got tail stock for the ruby table for the moon. And I got a ball. The common pack. Got a big ball. See? So two inch, two and five eight sixteenths, and one seven eighths. Two thousand pounds, seventy five hundred pounds, and five thousand pounds. That's what I got. I got that because I hate freaking extension cords. They drive me nuts. See, perfect. When you use, you put out. When you finish. It goes back in. Trust me, it's worth the money. See, out of the way. I got a hose reel too. I got that one last year and I haven't installed it yet. See, hose reel. Because you see, that annoys the crap out of me. Anyways, oh yeah, this is what I came in here for. I came in here for my. Where is it? Where is my horse and pepper? Cook. See, there's my rotary table from the camera. Okay. And the camera in the seat. Yeah, rotary table. I got the tool tail stock. And I got the dividing head, or I should say the plates. So you can cut gears. I'm going to start cutting some gears. Because I have a super transmission here from a friend of mine. And we want to cut straight gears because in the rally cars or racing cars you use straight gears. That's why you get that yee sounds like a car that's in reverse. Stronger than uh, hypoidal or bevel gears. Not bevel gears, but the teeth are on an angle. <clears throat> Where's my flipping? What about my flipping? Uh... Hmm. I'm going to have to look for my tripod. Junk. Not like Corvair Wild, he gets free ones from <coughs> MGM computers. Lucky guy. Maybe he gets more hits with his videos than I do. Chatted with Corvair Wild. Oh, look. <coughs> oh, look at here. Can't really see the pins, eh? Remember this? Yeah, I like the white this pyrography. I got her that machine last year and we went and picked up some more points for it. Lee Valley Tools in Ottawa last weekend. <coughs> I ordered her a Christmas gift from last year. And I ordered one this year, so she waited a year. Definitely, oh, I don't want to do that to her thing. Ah, it's made in Saskatchewan, Canada. Racer Tip SK, SK, Maine, Canada, guys. Look at this. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Made by Razor Tip Industries, Martinsville, SK, Saskatchewan, obviously, Canada. So there you have it. I guess you have nothing else better to do out there. I don't know why they do wood burning out there. It's all fields. I don't know where to get their wood. Ah, just bugging you. Been through Saskatchewan. Beautiful. I'd been through Saskatchewan in the spring. <clears throat> no, actually, no, it was in June with my father. We're to U-Haul. So we're moving out to Alberta. And uh, <clears throat> i never seen the earth so black. I thought there was maybe a grass fire that was going on. There was a grass fire that happened. But the, the earth is black. It's incredible. It's Beautiful. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm looking in there and I see corrosion on the plugs. Because you see on the car, it's like this. And bingo. You can't really see that. There you go. Much better with the macro, eh? Holy macro! Yeah, I got corrosion in there. Okay. Alright, enough with the macro. I need glasses. I wonder if my glasses will work. Probably not. Okay. No, doesn't work. No, that's because I'm nearsighted. It won't work. So there you have it. I don't know. The drink. What is going on here? Whoa! I can't see where I'm going. I drank too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, here we go. We got our eyesight back. So there you have it. I'm gonna go try and clean that out. And you can see this corrosion on there. 
There's definitely corrosion on there. All right. Oh yeah, and another thing I wanted to do too is grab my test light because I want to see if that's current in there. That's what I came in here for before I saw that. <clears throat> test light. See, electrical tray, see? Just like in Zika. Oh, freaking rat's nest. Should have seen this thing when I redid the boat. You want a rat's nest? Holy crap. I have wires everywhere. I think I took out 50 pounds worth of wires. Oh, shoot. Okay, good. There he is. Forgot to put the dog. Piat. Could you fit? Yeah, he's checking the sheep again. What the heck? Blurry. Not good. Uh, that's why it's blurry because I focused it on something that was close. There you have it. Oh, yeah. Tripod. Oh, <laughs> Finally got it out. I left that there when I moved the tires. Oh boy. Out of memory. Can't find stupid tripod. The camera's leaning over. It might keel over. Yeah, you have it. Can't find the tripod. I think it's upstairs on the second story. Anyways, I'm gonna check see if I have power before I shove anything metallic in there. Find a good ground. Find a good ground. Oh yeah, camera sitting on the ground. Mm, yeah, I should be. Oh, I'll check to see if I have any juice because I don't want to shove anything metallic in there. Oh, somebody's flying over with a ultra light. Ultra junk! Seems good up to now, no power. Definitely got a road tax on that. Guess it seems like I have no juice. Yeah. Parasail. Oh. There he is. Mmm. Crazy junk. Yeah. All right. Back to work. Dog is howling. Here. Not the kind of dog he is, but he seems lonely. Yeah, I'm good. No juice on here. Doing it again because I noticed the light wasn't as bright. When I checked it on the battery, I want to make sure before I shove something down there. Got no juice because I don't want to short out my ECU because then I'll be really up Shits Creek without a 9.9. .9. Evan Root, Johnson, Mercury, you know what I mean. Alright, got no juice so I don't have to disconnect the battery. Good enough. Good enough. Alright, here we go. Let's try this. Got some mecha cleaner. We got the Vita Vita cleaner. Ah oh boy. Spray the pipe cleaner with the brick cleaner. Shove it in the hole, the dirty hole over here. And clean it out. God, it doesn't want to fit. Too thick maybe? Ah, oh, junk. I don't know how I'm supposed to clean these out. Good question. Yeah, doesn't even fit for crying out loud. A little too thick. Come on, get in there, you junk. Oh man. Caution. Junk. And that's the, uh, that's the green wire, I think. Green and yellow. I should, I should go see which one of that powers. It's probably the, I, I have a funny feeling it's the injectors. Oh, there we go, it's going in. Yeah, it went in on that one. Or did it? Holy crap. <clears throat> there we go. Crazy. Junk. Yeah. Oh, I got fur in there now. Great. That's all I need. No contact. Oh, the entire one started, dude. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's 
crap. Prongs are not that big though, that's what I don't understand. I think it's the way it's twisted, it's no good. It's junk. Maybe if I cut the end off, it'll fit in much easier. Right, I'm gonna take some fur off. See what happens now. Took some fur off, see maybe it'll fit. Slide first, and then push around. No, not getting anywhere. Junk. Oh, snowmobile. Here he comes. Wake that baby up. Guess where he's going. Yeah, he's going on the lake for sure. Said, Here he goes. Wee! He's in the dark. <laughs> I almost bought one. The lake is just like down the street. He would have flipped out. He would have lost weight chasing me on the snowmobile. Wee! Chase the daddy on the snowmobile. Oh boy. Alright, the bears. Cut off a section. Because it's the end, maybe? And the brake cleaner. Spray the brake cleaner on the pipe, man. Pipe cleaner. Yes. Crazy. Come on, get in the hole. It's crazy. Why want to go in? It's not any bigger than the prongs. I don't get it. Come on. Oh, I think we got something. We're getting somewhere. Obviously, you don't see anything because my hand's in the way. Duh. Junk. I don't want my tripod, damn it. I think we're getting somewhere. I should put some dielectric grease on there. Huh. Strange. Very strange people. Not happy about the situation. So that's it. Weird. Friggin' weird. <laughs> I wonder if the contacts are off. Anyways, I'm gonna get my flashlight. No problems. Got the air holes and some brake cleaner and shove it in the plug. Oh well. It's the life. Clean it out and get some shot in here. Check it out. Where's the flashlight? The flashlight in your pocket, you nimble. I'm gonna put some dielectric grease on me. In there, I guess. I think that did the trick. That uh, brake cleaner did the trick, I believe. Ah, why not have another shot? That's what we'll do. We'll put some dielectric grease on there. I should probably get a Q-tip and do the prongs, I guess, on the other side here. Do the prongs. Thing is, I don't have access to it anymore. It's clipped in there. Mm. Oh, that's one. That's one. There we go. That one's pretty good. And the problem's in the brown part, though. So, yeah. There we go. There she comes. See? And check out the flowers on this one. But this one's okay. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna put some grease on there. Dialect grease. I need the coat tips. Oh boy. Can we get some Q tips? Dialect grease. Where did I put it? I don't know. It's somewhere around here. Crazy junk. Everywhere. Alright. Can we get some dialect grease? I don't know. Where did I put it? 
Don't need this. See, I was going to use the cup to put these things in. Not working. Where's my grease? I've had my grease in my pocket before. What did I do with it? There it is. Ningam poop. Alright, I'm going to go get some Q-tips in the house. Some dielectric free grease on those prongs. And hopefully, hopefully they'll do the trick. Okay. Give it a try. Put some dielectric grease on the plug. See what happens. We'll give that a try. See what happens. Chunk. Alright. This will go from there. <clears throat> Not worth it doing a crank because it's gonna start up anyways. Gotta do a little test one up time today. Hmm. It's pretty clean in there. I think I cleaned it up pretty good. So anyways, yeah. <laughs> what I should probably do is put some put some over the opening so when I push the pins in. When I push the pins in, it'll Just put a bit over each opening, so when I put, put the prongs in, it'll, uh, it'll push it in. That's too long. Use the hand. And there's the way to do it. Use the finger. This will probably help it. Yeah, just shove it in there. Push it in with the with the finger and then I guess the prong will pick it up push it in and uh, give it a good contact and hopefully it'll protect it from corrosion I don't want to get it this plug is sealed and then there was corrosion in it I don't get it not much oh, a lot of planes flying around today boy for flying, that's for sure. Call them moonies. Alright. Let's give that a try. Put this baby back in. That should do it. That should be take care of it. I'm gonna do a test today. Not worth it. Click! I think I broke it though. It's gonna have to hang there. I broke the plastic. Yeah, it's busted. Oh well. Wow. I'll just zip tight to this one eventually. So there you have it. Clean the plugs. Hopefully that will do the trick. Get rid of my <coughs> stumbling woes. Alright. Again, the waif is gone. The grocery store to pick up some stuff for lunch. We're gonna make a lunch and go skiing. So there you have it. Oh, there she is. Alrighty guys, have a good one. So you can see the corrosion there, you see it? There. And there. That one on the left, the first one on the left is a ground. See? Black wire. And then you have a beige wire. And that beige wire is for injector number one. So, I was getting misfires at higher revs and I might wear it. Here it is. That was for injector number one. But remember I had to take the plastic clip to put on the other harness I put on? So I have a funny feeling is that I was losing my ground and the injectors weren't working and that's why it was cutting out. So I'd lose my ground and then I wouldn't have any uh, injection going on. Weird. You look okay, I think, eh? But look at the corrosion in that one. Pretty wild, eh? Yeah, so there you have it. So it's all fixed up. Well, fixed up, I put... I put grease on the... Uh, well, you saw there previously, so... So here's my problem. Hopefully it's fixed. Hopefully it's not a pin problem. Because if you look at them, I don't know, they look... Some of them look crooked. So I don't know if it's worn out from vibration or... 
There you have it. See, look, even with that seal around it, I still had corrosion. Strange. Anyways, hopefully it's fixed. There you have it. I'm get the blurry again. So, we'll play with it tomorrow. Anyways, have a good one. I'm going skiing. It's beautiful out there.